the cryptocurrency space in general is seeing volatility pick back up, and I love it. Guys, if you remember back to, to 2017, if you remember back to 2021, it wasn't all straight lines higher. It wasn't all gains and rainbows and sunshine. The volatility is absolutely real in the crypto space, meaning you can go up 10, 20, 30% in a day, and you can go right back down 10 20, 30% the very next day. But it's that type of volatility that atta attracts traders. Now, Terra Luna Classic is seeing that volatility, moving from roughly 6,500 points per coin to 9,500 points per coin in a single day, back down to 8,000 points per coin. The volatility is what traders live for. Now, I'm going to be talking about an article in this video that I, do, I believe does an excellent job of, of going over the technical analysis. They do it for both Terra Luna Classic and the new Terra Luna 2.0. We're not going to focus on Terra Luna 2.0, but it has been performing pretty well over the last couple of days, uh, following Bitcoin higher and, and really soaring 50-60% that one day. So, it's got a little shout out, a little mention right there. But if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2023 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a pro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. Now, look, if you guys are brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Weeble. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting at least six free stocks, up to 12 free stocks, and you're going to be earning 5% on your cash balances. Don't have to buy a single share of anything, and you're getting that 5%. If you guys want cryptocurrency exclusive, of exchanges where you can buy, sell, trade, short, leverage, all that good stuff. You've got KuCoin and Binance down there. KuCoin and Binance, they offer rewards for the more active traders. So the more you trade, the more you're going to earn. But please be aware if you're holding on those exchanges, it is going to be considered a loan to those exchanges. So if you want to mitigate that risk and make it your asset, you need to look at a cold storage or DeFi wallet. And guys, I do want to say a sincere thank you to everybody who's gone out to Amazon, searched Clay Bro merch. You see the official Bro merch listed on Amazon right now. A lot of you guys have gone out there. You bought your brand new favorite hoodie. You bought a t-shirt, and I want to say thank you very much for that. And if you guys want to let me know, hey, let me know what you think about the designs. Good, bad, both, whatever. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick, though, because this is an excellent article written about Terra Luna Classic, and they're trying to dabble in some other stuff, and we're going to skip right over that. We don't care about these other coins that are out there and and so on but it, it says that a lot of the reasoning behind the recent move is the the hype and speculation surrounding bitcoin and the bitcoin etf which i absolutely agree with i believe that that is the number one reason we are seeing cryptocurrencies move higher right now not just bitcoin not just ethereum and, and those two having pending etf applications but dude look at solana solana back in the 50s look at chainlink chainlink touching like 15 16 bucks shiba inu coin back to 900 back down a little bit absolutely and of course terra luna classic ripping up to 9500 points per coin before falling back down a little bit so this goes on to talk about the the terra luna classic analysis and and the the terra luna analysis but it also marks a, a key factor in the, the governance that we have got going on for, for Terra Luna Classic and the fact that we have recently voted to approve the 100% Tobin tax to make sure that we have no more USTC minted. So I did want to highlight and bring that up. It is one of the first proposals to pass since the beginning of October, and it's putting us on the right track forward for not only being able to repay USTC at some point, but just making sure that we're not doing any more damage by re-minting tokens in any form or any fashion. Now, I want to talk about the, the Terra Luna Classic technical analysis because I agree with this to a T. It says, Terra Luna Classic has shown remarkable recovery in the short term with over 30% gains in the past week and a gain of around 50% over the past month. However, its six-month performance shows a slight decline of about 6%. Now we know that Terra Luna Classic has been doing nothing but going down, and the fact that we were able to erase nearly six months worth of declines in two days shows you that yes, we could be gearing up for a breakout. Yes, if this hype and speculation surrounding Bitcoin ETFs and Ethereum ETFs begins to hit all of the, the altcoins, so that we're thinking about Terra Luna Classic ETFs, 
Ripple's XRP ETFs, SHIB and Dogecoin ETFs. If people begin to understand the reality of this situation, the fact that we could be seeing altcoin ETFs the same as we see stock ETFs, it's going to revolutionize the cryptocurrency game. And we could see a major breakout, not just in Terra Luna Classic, but literally across the cryptocurrency board and an influx of millions, billions, and eventually trillions of dollars into this space. This says, key technical indicator for Terra Luna Classics include the 10-day simple moving average for LUNC is 8,500 points per coin. When the current price of Terra Luna Classic is above the 10-day simple moving average, it often suggests that bullish or short -term, uh, bullish for short-term momentum. And right now, we are slightly below that level. 8,500 points per coin. Terra Luna Classic is trading around 8,200 points per coin at the time that I'm recording here. It says the 200-day simple moving average for Terra Luna Classic stands at 8,400 points per coin. Now, a current price above the 200-day typically indicates bullish long-term trend or slightly below. You know, we're treading water around these moving averages, moving above and below depending on, on the variation during the day and the volatility during the day. But with Terra Luna Classic at 82, we are slightly below both the 10-day and the 200-day moving average. Now, the, the relative strength index for Terra Luna Classic is at 55.31, indicating a relatively balanced market condition without being strongly overbought or strongly oversold. It's actually like right dab, right there in the middle, and it, and it is. It's indicating just that. It's uh, a balanced market condition. It's currently not overbought, currently not oversold, meaning that, yes, we could go higher, or unfortunately, yes, we could go lower. Now, it talks about the Terra Luna Classic price forecast, and this is what everybody wants to know, and I actually believe these, these levels of resistance and support that it's going to be talking about here. If Terra Luna Classic continues to rally and breaks above its immediate resistance level of 10,000 points per coin, sorry, and it goes on to say 10,316 it just know it's a range, so 10,000 points per coin. It can target the next resistance level at 11.5. Absolutely. It goes on to say, if the current price is uh, if the current price is hovering around the 10-day moving average, it constantly stays above 8,500. This could be an indicator for bullish term. Now, in a bearish scenario, it says conversely, if Terra Luna Classic faces reversal and drops below the immediate support level of 7,300, mine's at 7,500 points per coin, it might further test the next support level at 55. Now. I believe we've got a resistance or a support level in between those two numbers. I believe we got more res uh, support at that 6,500 point per coin level, but I absolutely agree with 5,500 points per coin as well. Guys, we are basically at the mercy of the SEC and of this Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF approval. The speculation is running wild right now, which is driving gains, but it, only time will tell whether it's a buy the rumor, sell the news type of event, or what we end up with. So I want to know your expectations for Terra Luna Classic down in the comments below. And if that button right there is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day. We are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 everywhere. 6 to 12 free stocks on Weeble, KuCoin, and Binance, free Discord. And thank you to everybody who has gone out to Amazon, searched Claybro merch, and bought your brand new favorite hoodie. Appreciate all you guys, and until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day. Let's get started.